Hi, this is Susanna from Hold It Right There Sewing Patterns. You're watching my sew long tutorial series for my updated pattern, the Go Baby Organizer. In order to make the Go Baby Organizer, you will need to purchase the sewing pattern linked at my website below. Okay, our Go Baby Organizer is really starting to take shape. In this fifth video, I will walk you through the steps for creating the exterior panel. Locate the nine inch zipper. Measure and mark eight inches total for the zipper. To prevent the zipper pull from falling off the zipper teeth, sew several stitches at both ends of the zipper, one eighth inch from the markings. I'm doing this by hand, but you can also sew over your zipper teeth at your sewing machine. Be sure to use a wide enough stitch length if you're at your machine so that the needle can go over the zipper teeth. I've sewn both ends of the zipper, and so now I will cut the zipper tape where marked. And the total length of the zipper once cut is eight inches. Set aside the zipper for now. Locate facing D2. Turn wrong side up. Draw horizontal lines one inch from the top and the bottom and draw vertical lines one inch from the left and right sides. The center rectangle will measure one half inch by seven inches, and it is the stitching guide for the zipper pocket window. Fold facing D2 right sides together, matching short side to short side. And where creased, mark the center at the top edge on the wrong side with a washable fabric pen. Locate panel exterior C. To determine its center, fold right sides together, matching long side to long side. Unfold, and then where creased, mark the center at the top edge or cut a very tiny, scant 1 8 inch notch. Draw a horizontal line with a washable pen one and a half inches below the top edge. Right sides together, align the top edge of the facing, D2, with the horizontal line that you just drew on panel exterior C. Use the center markings to match D2 and C, and then pin in place. You will now sew around the half inch by seven inch rectangle through all the layers. In this video, I'll show you a slightly different technique than is written in the instructions. I am only going to sew along the seven inch lines, not along the half inch vertical lines. This is a new technique that I just learned and I find that it gives a better finish to the zipper window. For this technique, it's very important to backstitch at the beginning and the end of each seven inch line. After I've backstitched, I'll sew along the line to the end and then backstitch again. I'm now going to sew along the opposite seven inch line, again, backstitching at the beginning and at the end. And as you can see, I am not sewing along those short half inch lines at all. We're just going to leave them unsewn. You'll now cut across the center of the rectangle through all layers of fabric and interfacing, and you'll want to stop about a half inch from the, the left and the right ends. Once you get to the, almost at the end, you'll cut out Y-shaped corners on either ends. You want to get close to the corner of the rectangle without cutting through any of your stitching. Working from the right side of the panel exterior, we're going to push the facing through the opening. And I find it really helpful just to spritz my fabric a little bit and iron the facing away or toward the opening. So I'm going to just do that on all sides of the facing. Pressing your facing is really the most important part of getting a nice looking zipper pocket. I'm now going to push the facing from the right side of the panel exterior through the opening. 
I'm going to continue to press until the rectangle zipper window opening is flat. What I like best about the method I just showed you is that there is no bulk in the corners of the zipper window because I did not sew those small half inch vertical stitching lines. Locate your prepared eight inch zipper and the zipper pocket pieces D1. With one zipper pocket piece right side up, pin or clip the zipper right side up along the top edge. Be sure the zipper pull is on the left. Sew using a scant quarter inch seam allowance. Pin or clip the opposite side of the zipper along the top edge of the remaining zipper pocket D1 piece. Be sure the zipper pull is on the right. Pin or clip in place. Sew using a scant quarter inch seam allowance. Here I have pressed the right side of the zipper pocket pieces away from the zipper. So on the right side of the fabric, you'll see the wrong side of the zipper, the wrong side of the fabric, you'll see the right side of the zipper. Place the zipper pocket D1 pieces wrong side up, just like I have them here. You want the pockets extended above and below the zipper, and you need to keep the pockets oriented this way for the next step. You'll now need your panel exterior C and double-sided tape or fabric glue. Use double-sided tape or glue above and below the zipper teeth to secure. I'm now going to center the zipper pocket window over top of the zipper teeth. With my zipper centered, my zipper pockets in place, I'm now ready to sew around the zipper. You wanna make sure that the zipper pockets are out of the way for this step and maneuver the zipper pull as needed while you're sewing. Sew all the way around the zipper window with an eighth inch seam allowance. I've sewn around the zipper pocket window and so I'm going to place the panel exterior wrong side up and place the pocket pieces right sides together. The bottom edges of the pocket will be uneven. Pin or clip the sides of the pocket together. We're now going to sew the pocket sides. We need to move the panel exterior out of the way to do this. And then we will sew each pocket side using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I'm keeping the exterior panel out of the way and I'm sewing through the facing and both layers of the zipper pocket pieces. I'm ready to sew the opposite side of the zipper pocket and I'm going to do this in the same way, moving the exterior panel out of the way and sewing through both layers of the zipper pocket and through the facing. Okay, both sides of my zipper pocket are sewn and I'm now going to trim the bottom edge of the pocket to match evenly. Pin or clip the bottom edge of your zipper pocket Still keeping the exterior panel out of the way, you'll then sew the bottom of the zipper closed using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. With the zipper pocket finished, it's time to install the snaps. Place the panel exterior C right side up. Use a washable fabric pen to draw two magnetic snap insertion points indicated on the pattern piece. These measurements are three and one fourth inch from the bottom edge and two inches from the left and right sides. Locate the two magnetic snaps and washers. You will also need the pieces of ultra firm stabilizer. Center one magnetic snap washer over each insertion point marking on the panel exterior. Use a washable fabric marker to trace the left and right prong placement lines, and you'll do this on both insertion point markings. With the sharp point of a seam ripper, carefully cut through the prong placement lines. Be sure to cut through all layers of fabric and interfacing. To prevent the incision edges from unraveling, apply a few drops of a liquid fabric sealant such as Dritz Freycheck. Allow it to dry before moving on. Locate the four ultra-firm stabilizer squares. Place a magnetic snap washer on one of the ultra-firm stabilizer squares. Trace the left and right prong placement lines of the washer with your fabric pen. 
Using the sharp point of a seam ripper, carefully cut through the left and right prong placement lines. Repeat with the remaining four other UltraFirm stabilizer squares. From the right side of the panel exterior C, push the prong feet of one female magnetic snap half through one set of prepared incisions and through one UltraFirm stabilizer square. Insert the prongs through the holes in a washer. Fold the prongs to secure. Repeat to install the remaining female magnet half in the panel exterior. Set aside the panel exterior for now. I've installed both of the female snap halves into my exterior panel, and on the wrong side of the exterior panel, I am fusing a scrap of woven interfacing over top of each of the magnets, and this will be just to protect my fabric. The prongs can be a little sharp, and I don't want them to go through the fabric. So this is an optional tip that you can do on your baby organizer if you choose to. The exterior panel is finished, and so in our next video, we will make the zippered flap and then assemble our organizer, and we're almost done. Thanks for watching. Happy sewing.